Welcome ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, to yet another installment of the Dads on Wrestling. Woo! Now that's Dud Kells. Woo! I am the Renegade of Wrestling, JJ Williams. I am Jeff Meacham. I am trying to find today's topic on my Facebook wall. Because so you have so many fucking things on your Facebook wall. I do, it's ridiculous. But I want to read it exactly like our topic sender posted it, so... Yes, today's topic comes from our good buddy Bruce... Big shout out to Bruce. Okay, it wasn't back this far. What the yeah, hell? In fact, we were going to have him on the show to discuss it, but work schedules got in the way. And As happens. And you know what? More power to him. Fool's got a job. Exactly. So, you know, seriously. All right, I can't find it for some reason. Because you fooey. No, it's because I can't freaking... There's, I'm on Facebook Mobile. This new Facebook Mobile stuff is ridiculous. It is. It's freaking horrid. Facebook Mobile people. Go back to the old Facebook. Not every improvement's a good one. Please. Bruce basically asked how, if if the territory system was still around today, if the territories existed in the various parts of the country, like they did pre-Vince McMahon's takeover of everything and everybody in 1982 and 3 and 4, how would they, would they, would it still be going up, would it still last today with the cable and the satellite feeds and things like that, and how would it, how would cable and satellite have an impact on the territory system? As much as I grasped onto this when I first read Bruce Post, I, I commented him when we saw him at his job about how good a topic it was, the more I think about it, it's a very easy topic to answer in my opinion. Okay. It's very easy. The territory system would not work today because if Vince McMahon hadn't taken over, somebody else would have. WCW would have or somebody or WWF wouldn't have taken over and then they'll say that it would work. So it can go both ways. What I'm saying is had Vince not taken over and there were still territories in the system today, there'd be several different, in my opinion, companies that would have a national outlet, much like Hollywood has Mav TV for their outlet, much like Turner set up, you know, TBS and TNT, the satellite WCW across the globe and across the country. Ring of Honor with their deal. Ring of Honor with their Sinclair deal, exactly. Every, every, you know, every one of the big territories would have somebody to, I mean, shoot, uh, the old Hollywood wrestling out here back in the old days would have found somebody. Yeah. KTLA, KTLA or, like or KCLP or something that would go nationwide. KTLA has the has the Tribune deal, so it really would depend on if the takeover had not happened. If the takeover happens, and there's still territories, we wouldn't be talking about them because Vince had USA first. Vince had the cable satellite deal first. And he had closed circuit on pay-per-view and all that first. Mm -hmm. So even if the territory still existed, Vince would have swallowed and gobbled them up anyway, cable TV deals or not. He would have simply just swallowed up Ring of Honor Sinclair deal and swallowed up the Tribune deal that KTLA had with whatever wrestling they had and swallowed up Mav TV's deal with Ring with uh, Champion Wrestling of Hollywood. Vince still would rule the world. I firmly believe that. Think so, and I think that if the takeover doesn't happen, the business doesn't exist the way it does now. Which there's pros and cons of that too. Let's it's be a, real. It is be real, but I think that if the if the takeover happens, then there is no territories. But if there were a little bitty bits and pieces of territory that had cable and satellite, it might work. But I think in the long run, WWE would overtake them anyway. If the takeover doesn't happen in the early '80s then yes, every single territory would have their own major territory. Major, like Los Angeles, yeah. New York, Florida somewhere, Tennessee St. somewhere, Louis. St. Louis, would have their own cable satellite hookup with some sort of deal or another by 2014, and it'd be a whole totally different business. Yeah. It's takeover doesn't happen 20 to 30 years ago, but it did. I think a lot of it would depend on the product for the particular territory. Okay. You know, living out here in SoCal, we've got how many different feds out here that we can turn to if we want to. Exactly. Some better than others. Yes. Not going to name names because that's not what we're here to discuss. No. Some companies better than others. I think it would depend on the product per company 
as far as what the outcome would be because if you had a solid product then I think WWE would have what they've been sorely missing since 2001 competition Reign of Honor would be more of a threat if they had a bigger distribution deal but they don't yeah TNA would be a bigger threat if they had better booking yes because TNA has a national and even global deal with Spike. Yeah, they just have so horrible booking. They've horrible they, booking, yeah. They've, had they've waited too long to push the, the right talent. Teams. Exactly, exactly. And they're pushing the right talent now the wrong way. Yeah. Eric Young, Magnus. You know, if a championship wrestling from Hollywood were to get a global deal, or even just a national deal, bigger than what they have with Mav TV and churn out consistent, steady product like they were doing when we went. Now, to be fair, I haven't seen their product lately, so I don't know if it's still consistently good, I, or I hear if it's it is. Started, started it to is. waver a bit. No, I hear it's still good. That would be an issue for Vince. Right. And he would either try to, like you said, gobble them up and their talent, or they would be posing a bigger threat to Vince. Do, all right, now, and, the, and the beautiful part about the territory system, if it existed today, is that there's so many kids that have gotten into this business from watching the glory days of the 80s and the Attitude Era of the 90s that are inspired to be pro wrestlers, that if Vince or Dixie or whoever came in and just swooped up a good percentage of, let's say, the championship wrestling roster, since that's the... You know, what I've been using as an example, yes. there's enough young guys out there to take those spots and replenish it. Mm -hmm. Whereas when Vince did it in the 80s, not so much. Very true. You were Crockett, you were McMahon. That was about it. And for once, the take, once the takeover happened, you were yeah. Crockett, you were McMahon. Right. Anybody else was so minute at that point, it didn't matter. Even AWA at that time, they were yeah, down I, I think that off. I think that television deals for some of these promotions, especially out here since it's the scene that I follow, yeah, would do a great deal for the wrestling business as a whole and the own individual promotional business. Okay. All right. Well, there's our answers. What, what, what say you, talent? Bruce gave us the topic. I'm sure we'll hear from Bruce about this. But that's one person out of six billion on the planet. What about the rest of you? I know that some of you local SoCal talent watch the show. Exactly. What do you think about this? If the territory system still existed today, how do you think it would be thriving or, you know, foundering with, with you guys involved in it? Let us know. Please. And if any of you guys want to come on and discuss this, let one of us know. Y'all know where to find us. That's it. We, we ain't that hard to find. We, we, we ain't moving three years. Yeah. yeah. Seriously. At R-O-W-J-J -J Williams. At underscore Jeff Meacham. Pretty easy. There you go. There it is. That's it for the dads. He's the renegade. I'm Jeff Meacham, and we will see you next time.